Hello everybody, this is Xenocad8235433, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. We're on our way out of the Tower of Babel today. Hello Chimera. I don't like you, Chimera. Because you're going to do that. And that hurts. And I'm going to have to burn a virus on you, which I hate doing, because the virus is expensive. And you're not even worth that much experience, Chimera. You're just a terrible enemy. Egg is jump. We're making our way down. We've only got a few floors to go. Uh, after destroying the super cannon. Or hopefully destroying the super cannon. I mean, Yang definitely did something and didn't come out. I am not sure I grabbed the two chests in the side room here, so I'm going to grab them. This encounter should be fine. I mean, this is just everything is weak to ice, so everything can die really easily. The nice thing about having only four people is that cure gets spread between only four people instead of five, so it gets split less ways. And all these things don't stand a chance to my Ice Brand Blizzard Spear setup. That encounter is actually really nice for experience. I'm not sure I grabbed these two treasure chests, so I'm just going to quickly double check. I did not. There's an Archer Bow in here. That is definitely an upgrade for Rosa. Not that I've used her arrows much, but it is a better bow. And also in here, another life potion. That's all that's in there. Now we can continue to make our way down. I like how they have a little thing over the door that... Like, the designer on the door that leads forward is different. You do have to remember which door you came from, but... That's not a huge deal. And... We have made it out of Lower Babel. Thank you, No Encounters. You have amused me a lot. Golbez! This is all for play, kids. Farewell. Oh dear. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh hey! It's the Enterprise! We got saved by Sid! Just in time. Sid! Where's Yon? He... To destroy the super cannon. I see. Poor Yon. Who's this girl? Rydia, the color of mist. Shucks, they are coming. We were about to crash into a wall there. Can't we shake them off? Looks like they've modified the Red Wings. He's catching up! Give it your best, Enterprise. The engine can't last much longer. Cecil, take the control. Sid, what are you doing? Get out of the underground. I'll close the hole with this bomb. Oh, Sid. I wanted to see your children. Rosa, Cecil. But I guess I'll stay here for a while. Go to Baron and get my workers to help you. Sid, come on. Be good, Rydia. Hurry, to Baron! Golpez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the master engineer. Shh. 
Jeez, you didn't even join our party. How many people have we lost in this in so few parts? Jeez. Sid! Why? It's too dangerous. We'll head toward Baron. And here we are, back on the overworld. There's Iger. We're gonna land in Baron. We're not gonna get an encounter, it's just walking into Baron. Hmm. I could try that at this point. We're not going to, but. There is a thing that I could do. Technically. We have the collar. You know, we could do that now. That sounds like a bad idea, though. I'm going to wait on that for a little bit. We'll see eventually. We're gonna head over here. Because we need to talk to Sid's engineers. They're hanging out on the east side of Baron. Either one of these two is... will work. Cecil! Boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. Now you can ho hook and carry the hovercraft. To hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the Cave of Evlon by the Tower of Babel. Bring the hovercraft to the shore and detach it there, and then use it to get to the cave. Sid is... Oh, I can tell you are having trouble handling him, but I won't blame you. Well, good luck. So... We now have access to have the hook, which means we can carry our hovercraft places. Remember this thing? Where was it? Where did we even leave it? Uh, probably up here. There it is. Remember this thing that we had at the very beginning of the game and then left behind, because why bother? We can now take this with us. It's useful in other places too. Notably, Right here. Now I could park over here, actually. You can go right from like this tile south onto this stuff and get over to this cave. But, there's some interesting stuff happening in this castle. So we're gonna use another tent, make sure everyone is fully healed up and ready to go. And we're going to check this place out. We're almost actually caught up to that save file. That I've been ignoring. Welcome to Eblon Castle. It's kind of ruined. I don't believe there are any random encounters here. There are a few trap chests in this area. Which are kind of difficult, which is why I didn't come here earlier. One of them is right here. We have four stale men and a skull. Or a stale men and four skulls, not the other way around. We want to get rid of the stale men first. We're going to call it Jin. Stale man will go down very easily, and Jin should take care of this fight. We're not taking that much damage, so 
These skulls are weak to fire. I'm just gonna heal up a cure too just in case, but yeah, no, Jin destroys them. Fire! Very good. I tend to prefer the fire summons over the level 2 elemental spells if I'm doing a, like, a more difficult fight like this. Because this area we can just walk through without worries about random encounters. And we find a slumber sword. I will need to exchange this for something. Pretty sure we're never going to use the cure stuff again. It was nice, but it's not useful. I do need to figure out what I need to drop, though. Slumber Sword. Not actually better than anything we have at this point. If you really wanted it, it puts enemies to sleep, but it's not accurate and does not do as much damage as the Ice Brand. I would not recommend it. Anyway, we're going to head over here. There's a Cure 2 potion in that pot. There's an Ether 1 in that pot. Or in that treasure chest, by the way. I do need to ditch more stuff. Cure 2 there. 2,000 gold and Mute Arrows, which are very good. And I would strongly recommend picking these up. I'm going to be honest, we're not going to use the Ice Rod or the... We're not going to use the Elemental Rods anymore. The Elemental Rods were nice early on, but we're not going to be needing level 1 spells at this point. I honestly don't think I'm going to even use the Whip. I'm just going to toss all that. The Mute Arrows are very useful, though. They are better offensively than the Poison Arrows, and will deal bonus damage to Mage-type enemies. Which, there are some Mage-type enemies, you know. I'm, not, I'm going to use these sparingly, because we only have 10. But they are very useful against certain enemies. Anyway, we're going to keep going. On our exploration of Ebline Castle. There's another Cure 2 in that chest. Everything else here is empty. But the chests up here are full. So we're going to take our trip over here. There's a heal pot, a cure two pot. We're just getting more supplies. Never hurts to have more supplies. So many supplies. A cure two, life. And a cabin. Actually, I can exit out of here. Let's do that. That's faster than walking. If walking takes so much time, we're just gonna use exit to get out of the castle faster. Take one step out, take one step back in, we're back in the castle. Now we're going to head to the east side. Or the right side, because they call it the right tower. I don't know why. They should call it West and East, but they call it Left and Right Tower. Silly. Silly game. Anyway. Secret Passage there for 600 gold. Head up these stairs. There are two more trap chests here. Cure 2, Ether 1. That pot has a life potion in it for some reason. If we walk around through this secret passage, we can get monsters. Two black cats and a Lamia. Thank you for missing. We're gonna all virus all and cure two. Virus will get rid of the black cats. And Kane jumping takes off the Lamia. 1900 more experience for everyone. And a drain spear. Do not use this. It's bad. It's real bad. It has a really high attack power, so it looks good on paper. I'm going to show off what it looks like. It looks real nice, doesn't it? 101 attack. But let's compare stats. Right now he's at 34, 23, 27, 8, and 20. With six... Let's equip the Drain Spear now. Twenty-one, 
24, 13, 17, 1, and 10. Every single stack goes down by 10. His attack multipliers, he loses tons of attack multipliers. So he's not even going to be hitting as hard. It does have a drain effect, so against enemies it will drain HP and will heal Kane. It's, but it's super inaccurate. Look at that accuracy, 29%. So we're not going to use the Drain Spear. We're going to use the Blizzard Spear instead, because effectively it's going to do more damage. We get two extra attack multipliers with an 87% hit rate for just a little bit less damage. But the hit rate increase is so much higher. Plus, you know, it's nice to actually have him have other stats. Don't use the Drain Spear. It's bad. There's a cabin. And 800 gold. And we're in the basement now. This is the last place. Two ethers. Um... I am going to want to make sure that Kane is at full health, or near full health, for this chest, because this chest is a little spooky. We've got Mad Ogres. Mad Ogres are extremely resistant to magic. Nothing Rydia does to them is going to work at all. However, we can land size on them for, you know, a cost of 6 MP. They are also mages, so Rose's Meteoros would do a ton of extra damage. But, and those Rune Rings that I have equipped on Rydia and Rosa are going to keep them alive. We're through one mat over. Come on, size. And the Mad Ogres are no longer threats. We can just kind of punch them. I will probably use a Mute Arrow against one of these. Just to show off how much damage it does. Nope, I was going to try to Life Glitch there, but then I decided against it. It's not quite worth it yet. Well, let's show off what a Mute Arrow does with the end command. Yeah. There are mages. Just one Mute Arrow. And we get an extra elixir. So, you know, Ebon Castle, not great equipment. The Slumber Sword and the Drain Spear are honestly not great. But it's a place you can loot. So we looted it. And we're going to take another tent. I have tons of cabins, so I'm probably going to end up switching to those fairly soon. We are starting to get to that point where cabins are going to become more useful than tents. Although I am trying to save as many of those for wagered game as possible. Let's get in our hovercraft. Just to prove you can do that. That's the latest point you can get on this. Refair, shoal, these shoals. Uh, save our game over here. Because I'm right outside Cave Ed 1, and... Well... You know what, that's going to... Well, we'll hop into Cave Ed 1. We've just entered Cave Eblana. This is our next dungeon of the game. Because we're trying to get back underground now. Because we kind of got stuck over in the overworld, and we're going to have to figure out a way to get back down. And this is the place that we were told to go. So, next time we start exploring Cave of Lana. I'll see you then.